You know, we've never had a time in life where we've had to defer school this long. So it's been a learning curve for just about everybody. I want to bring in Sarah Young. She's with the Utah State Board of Education. Sarah, hi, how are you? And are you hanging in there through all this? Yeah, no, thanks for having me. It's definitely been a roller coaster. I know for our schools, for our teachers, for our families, but we're all hanging in there. Yes. Now I know you have kids at home as well. Let's talk about what has worked and what hasn't worked as far as, uh, you know, with the deferment of school and how things have been going online for everybody. Yeah. So, you know, I think it's important to know I never went to school in an online setting. So as a parent, it's right. been an interesting transition to support my child in making that jump. Um, so there's definitely things that we've learned along the way. I think the biggest one is the importance of being able to replicate what we know is so important in schools, which is having a schedule. Um, right. Having that security is really important for kids as they go throughout their day, knowing what's coming, what to expect next. Mm -hmm. And so having that consistency is really important. And I think we learn that as adults too. We've all had our routines change and it has caused anxiety, stress, just about every emotion. So if we're feeling it, there's a good chance the kids are feeling it as well. Definitely. What about um, as far as, you know, the interaction with other kids? You know, that's a hard one. Yeah. So, you know, I think one of the things we think of first when we hear school is the academic learning. Like you remember learning right. English and math and science. Um, and sometimes what we forget is that that is also the space where our students um, are connecting with their friends and creating those 100%. social networks and really growing in terms of that social emotional development as well. So as we've moved into this online space, um, as educators, we've definitely realized the importance of not just facilitating the academic learning, but also those social connections as well. So whether that's using a Google Hangout or a school kind of approved tool to be able to connect with peers or working with your parents and your parent network to be able to find ways to connect your kids digitally, um, being at a phone call or a FaceTime, those things are really important and they help our students kind of have that feeling of normalcy that they're missing in this pandemic. I like that. I think, I think that's a good thing. If we need the social connection, they do too. Also, you're saying take a minute to step away from the learning as well. Definitely. So I think it's important, if, again, if you think about a traditional school day, we don't just do academics with kids. We also have right. group time, group activities, and then we also have play time, you know, whether that's yeah. a digital recess or a fun recess. So taking a step away from the screen is incredibly important. Get outside, play with your family, um, you know, engage in some puzzles, read a book together. These are all really Absolutely. great things that parents can do with their kids to break up the day. And you know what? I think all of these points are going to make moms, dads, everybody at home go, you know what? It, I, I feel a little bit more normal. It's okay to step away from things. It's okay that my kid's having a hard time or I'm having a hard time with this because parents didn't do online schooling. So we're all in this together. But overall, with everybody I've talked to, I feel like uh, in spite of everything, we're all pretty happy with how things have been going. Wouldn't you say so? Definitely. I mean, I have to say our parents and our teachers across the state of Utah turned it around in two days to be that's able amazing. to start engaging in this. And I'm not aware of another state that's been able to pull that off in a K-12 education. And so not We just, know that Utah is um, a pretty amazing place. Well, Sarah, thank you so much. And if people need any info, can they reach out to you somewhere? Certainly. Uh, we have a website, schools.utah.gov slash coronavirus, where we have tons of tips and tricks and resources for parents and families. You're the best. Hang in there. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you.